Hello everybody, today I will show you how script to make a steel frame work. Uh, this is a basic steel frame with the two bracings in both directions, uh, then some levels of the beam, uh, main beam and secondary beam and col of column of course. So we would start first how it can work. For me, uh, as usual, we can make different the space for the column in both direction. Of course, it can be longer or shorter, right? What else it can make? So for me, I choose that I want to control each level of the floor, for example, Let's check with the, the highest one. I believe, ah yeah, it works. Six meter and three meter. Each level can be. The most interesting things I think for the bracings, we can control which area and which part bracings can be located. What else? Division of secondary beams. Of course, depends on the loads or depends on the type of the floor. We just can divide and then we also easily see the distance between beams. Sometimes it is important for the grating. Uh, then staircase, it's still on the work. Uh, we will show it later. So, but now I want to show you in detail in this video how make settings in Grasshopper to make a grid correctly and how to make columns correctly. For that I need to switch off all my members, which is not needed to show now. Here we are, we now see only grid and the column and now let's go deeper to the grasshopper algorithm to see how we can create the grid. So to create the grid we need to see the grasshopper code and then I think I prefer I want to show Rhino window. Now we are in Grasshopper, so all buildings starts with a grid. To create it we need to um, activate this node, rectangular. So I will not show you where you can find it, I just will show you the name, like here you see rectangular and then to find it you just can type the same what you see on my screen, rectangular, here we are. Then let's just move on. Now we have a grid. Uh, we use a slider, space X, space Y. I don't want to show you really, really basic things. I hope you know how to do it. Um, just show you that expressions you make here. This is important because you just make four to eight and then uh, yeah, you multiply it 1000. So that's why it's easy for you. If, of course, if you want to 4,000, uh, I don't know, 4,000, 100, 4,000, 200, you also can change it. This is use really easy. You do like this, click OK, and now you have a like step which is 100, not 1,000. But personally, I feel that for my project, mostly we choose like this. Uh, anyway, numbers, space, we put it here, plane, you do nothing, it means it's a x, y as a default. So now we have a plane and uh, then we go to Tecla. To make this grid in Tecla, there is a special component here. This is, we go it down, grid from Tecla. Again type grid, you can find it. So what actually you need? Points are taken from 
this grid it's the same actually y x or x y so you just take points from here and put it in this grid right and now what is not so obvious this is how you make a label of course you don't need to do it to have your grid for example let's say we go to the properties of the tecla right and if you just create the grid based on the points and you don't do this this is also okay you still have your grid in your tecla based on the settings it still can work like here right here we are no problem in both direction but you cannot see labels and labels can be useful especially if you have a height of the floor which are not the same right that's why i will show you how you can make this code to have this list of the elevation mark this elevation mark you can see in your labels to show how to make a settings for the grid and to make the list of the marks i put it closer to the level of the floor and uh, we see that properties now have a correct labels for Z. Uh, we don't have a levels here. Uh, unfortunately, Tecla component don't allow us. We can define only labels, but if we have our labels here, it's easily for us to just, you know, do this 3000 because we already have it here. Then we go 7000, 12000 and so on and so on. And just to show you how it work, we change the height first height see how it can work so it's tecla level mark automatically updated so what is the logic how we can get it we need to get a list of the mm, marks which is just a text actually but what is important we need gaps uh, if you see here it can tell you the labels for the z-axis separated by spaces. And this is a tricky part, how to make spaces. F to make a spaces for the text, we can use uh, concat concatenate a component. Uh, and then here we can add each level mark. Uh, for example, if you have a more floor, you just go close and make a plus or minus. It's up to you. The logic is easy. We type it plus zero, 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 plus, and space, plus, which is this part. And then we should get a five. Five, this is here. Then we have a text with dot zero, zero, space, plus, here. Then we have a number nine, 14th, and 17th. So this is easy, I think. Um, what is 1000? 1000 is a division because we have a 5000 floor. 5000 floor, this is easy. We put it in the division formula. This is the mathematics, primary school mathematics. So 5000 divide 1000, we have five, right? And put it here. So now we have zero based on the text, five based on the hour floor height let's show you how it works 3000 right then we get three then we get, get 3000 all right then we just plus 3000 to 4000 then we can get seven right we actually plus 3000 4000 get 7000 in this result can we see it exactly and then we divide it to 1000 and then we get a 7. Of course, if you don't need to emphasize your level mark by the dot, you don't need to divide 1000. You just can directly say, okay, 3000 without dot, no problem, 7000. But I think it's more beautiful in Europe. This is normal practice to do like this. Okay. And... Uh, let me show you also how to work in Tecla in detail. Now we have this elevation mark. I follow this elevation mark 
I don't need to think, I just type exactly like it worked. 15. And what else I think we have? Just modify and 18,000. Right, I already have a drawing for me. Then open it and we see that our level marks are correct. Uh, they are not correct because probably I made a mistake of typing. Let's check it. Three thousand, seven thousand, exactly. Zero. One more zero. Modify. Okay. Then we go to the drawings again to see how it can work. Right, exactly. So, of course, it's not fully automatical. You see, you need to check your label first in your properties and then you need manually modify the level because this parameter define the level of the grid actually for example i want to say if we go to if our floor became higher again like from 3000 to 6000 right ah yeah our labels will be updated automatically but our actually parameter will be zero like a basic one because we can't control it as I mentioned before here there is no way to control and if we go to our drawings we see that so we have our basic level so we need to modify it again but it's still much much faster in my opinion and you cannot make a mistake so this is how you can make a grid I want to put it back then let's think how we can create a columns then what is a column actually column it is a line so that's why we need to take our geometry first so geometry we take points from the grid right because our grid define points it defines cells it defines points but points we take as the basic things from us okay then what we should do we should get a second point let's activate it right here this is so easy then we choose a move and unit z vector and uh, what is the unit z unit z the height of our floor so then we should connect end point and start point and of course we have our lines so this is a column of our first floor and then in my projects it's common that each floor have a different level that's why you can see the same code is applicable for each floor right so i don't need to show in detail how you can it can work for second floor for third floor for fifth and so on so they're all together like one yeah and now we have all our columns here we are then we can hide these dots they're not needed anymore and then how it can be imported to tecla for tecla structures i already showed i think in my previous video how you can make it the basic component for all members this is beam or it can be column of course this elements can be found here uh, you need to uh, set up tackle plugin like like 2020 or if another one if have another version uh, I think steel beam column you yeah actually you can choose a column as well but for I don't know for any reason I just put a beam it's not really important because if you go to actually to tecla tecla understand that this is will be a column so it's just uh, some settings slightly different so that's why this is up to you 
but it all works the same. So what we need to do? We need to apply all our lines curve here in Tecla structures. Then there is attribute. Attributes, uh, what it can, uh, for example, attributes. Attributes, uh, yeah, this another node, also part attributes. It can be found somewhere here, attributes. Or just like I show you only the name. So that's why you, as usual, just type part attributes here and uh, it's hidden so we define profile uh, we can define profile and line just not in line like immediately uh, you can go to select profile catalog go to the tecla link or just uh, say because i know this hb 500 hb 500 oh you see it's bigger it became bigger material with the same interface click double s235 or maybe s255 change it's changed ah it it hasn't changed yet because ah interesting i think okay in my tecla catalog i don't have this profile this material that's why it gave me a mistake um, but normally, yeah, you just can type according to your material catalog. The same like a profile. This is class. Class, I know which number has which color. So this is here, class. Position. Um, so the same name, position. Just put it here, connect to position. And then uh, it's up to you. You can rotate columns as you want. For example, zero, right? And uh, the same function like a Tecla, if you're familiar. So you can define it here. So that's why now all columns are the center. Uh, of course, you, maybe you can separate like columns, like a facade axis, like a, a or D. And then maybe for them, Sometimes you need to make it like this and all cent columns are in center can be in the center If you want to know how you can make it how to separate uh, These columns and center columns and just write a comment uh, I will show you in my next video. So I don't want to show you anymore. I think that's it for today um, So later on I will show you how you can make it beams in grasshopper secondary beams and bracings and then i think we will finish with our steel structures yeah that's it uh like subscribe please it can motivate me to have a new video and uh, of course if you have any question just ask me write your comment uh, write any idea what you want to see i will try to to make a video for you Bye.